Hi everyone, Chris Tim here from Sundela Consulting. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to bulk update tickets in Autotask. So if this is the kind of thing that you're looking to do, then this video is for you. So let's say you wanted to go ahead and change the queue or the status or the primary resource or, or, or any of the things on a ticket. Uh, the ability to be able to do that in Autotask is actually really, really simple and very straightforward. So let's go and take a look at how this would work. So from within Autotask, uh, we have the ability to, um, you know, any of the screens that are displaying the tickets. So for example, if I click on this 19, um, this is going to go and actually display this ticket grid format. And from any of these ticket grid formats, this is where we're going to be able to bulk update tickets. So here you can see we have some tickets in the level two support queue. We have some in here that are in support, some that are waiting customer in progress, you know, all different statuses, different queues. Um, you know, and, and different resources. So what we can simply do is let's take these top five tickets that we have. And what we're going to do in here is go ahead and move these, say, to the support queue. So one of the things uh, that very few people actually realize is right next to, uh, you know, this little tick box at the top, there's this little drop down arrow, which presents a, um, a, a drop down menu. And from here, we can click on the forward modify selected tickets. Now this is going to give us the ability to make all of those bulk changes. So here we can see that those tickets are currently sitting in the level two support queue. So let's say we actually wanna go ahead and move these to the support queue. We also want to, you know, not assign any engineers to those. And when we click on uh, save and close, then simply all this is gonna do is unassign those engineers and move it to the support queue. So of course, if we now went to view this inside the support queue, we would have the ability to see these, uh, you know, in, in that queue and not have any engineers assigned to them. Now, we can also see that here that these are waiting customer. You can just go and change one of these if you want to as well. So same thing in here, have the ability to click on any of these, uh, click this little plus sign here, forward modify, and now we can go down and, um, and go ahead and let's say, you know, we want to change, uh, let's change the status. So let's actually go and mark these tickets as complete. So when we complete these tickets, of course, they will now disappear from that list because they've been marked as complete. But it really is as quick as that. And you can see how simple and how easy that actually is in all the task. So we can do this with all the tickets as well. So from here, you can see we have 14 tickets. We want to go ahead and, and change, uh, you know, uh, some of the things on this. We want to change the queue. We might want to change the status. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and, and, and mess about with these. So simply we can click on forward modify. And then from here, we can go into, you know, let's move these say to, uh, yeah, let's move them to level two support queue. Let's change them to Mark Taylor and let's go in and set them back to new. So again, you can see just by doing that, we've gone ahead and changed all of these tickets on bulk. So you can either do it with every single ticket just by clicking this tick box at the top and highlighting them all, or of course you can just go and select, um, you know, certain tickets to do that with, um, and you have the same ability in here. Now, often I get asked as well about how can we bulk delete tickets, and this is the exact same place where we do it from. So again, if I wanted to delete those two tickets, I can simply, click on these two little uh, tick boxes. And then from here, oops, from here, all I need to do is go in and delete those selected tickets. It'll just go ahead and remove those tickets. So this would be really good if you're getting tickets that are, are spam or um, you, you know some kind of tickets that you don't need, uh, you, you have the ability to do that. Of course, this is a security permission. So this will only be available to uh, to, to people that have the ability or have the right to be able to delete tickets within Autotask. So you'll see that this is also actually available from any of the grid views that you're looking at. So if you click on my workspaces and queues, exactly the same thing in here by, you know, selecting some of these and then clicking on this little drop down box, we have that same forward and modify from here. And now we have the ability to go ahead and make any of those bulk changes. So we can change all of these in one go. So if, you know, if I wanted to, just to show you, I could simply click on, you know, 
change every single thing on here. Let's change this, even change the category. Um, you know, let's change this to in progress. Let's change the issue type, uh, the sub issue type. Um, you know, let's not change that. We can maybe change the work type as well. Um, so, you know, let's go ahead and change this to, uh, yeah, why not call it remote. And we've made a whole bunch of changes and simply click on save and close and all of those changes get applied immediately. So it really, really is as simple as that. So I hope that's helped. Thank you for watching and I really look forward to seeing you on the next video. See you soon. Thank you.